laser weapons are becoming increasingly common in U.S. Navy warships. New images point to the fact that Optical Dazzling Interdictor, or ODIN, is now being used operationally, not just for experiments. ODIN is seen deployed to the USS Stockade DDG-106, Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer as per published images by US Navy. Viewers may note that the USS Stockade is part of the Carl Vinson Carrier Strike Group CSG-1, and was moved to Hawaii in June to counter drills carried out by Russia's Pacific Fleet. As per reports, the warship is currently conducting routine training off of the West Coast as part of the U.S. Third Fleet. ODIN is one of the U.S. Navy's most important directed energy weapons programs. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. Navy is rapidly proceeding with the deployment of laser weapons on warships. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. ODIN is one of several initiatives of the Navy Laser Family of Systems NFLOS, which includes the High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler System Helios, and the High Energy Laser Counter ASCM program Hellcap. While the exact capability of the system is classified, ODIN is thought to be capable of disrupting and countering sensor systems present in a wide range of threats, including surface vessels, aircraft, drones, and anti-ship missiles. ODIN is a low-power laser system and works by blinding rivals' electro-optical and infrared sensors by directing a dazzler laser beam at them. The system has been fitted to USS Stockdale Forward Close-In Weapon System CIWS pedestal. ODIN also includes a high-power camera system that can be used for other applications apart from its main role in targeting for the Dazzler system. In 2020, Frank Paterkin, the senior technologist for the Directed Energy at the Office of Naval Research ONR, said there are plans in place to deploy ODIN systems aboard seven more U.S. Navy vessels by 2023. Paterkin stated, We've been working hard for the last five to seven years to try to bring directed energy forward in a meaningful sense to the warfighter and the operational community while at the same time advancing the technology. He added, we're in a little bit of a golden age for collaboration now for directed energy. So it's evident that more warships will have Odin. USS Stockdale, like the other 68 Arleigh Burke class destroyers, is packed with a powerful weapon set. The defensive weapon consists of the following. One. Evolved Sea Sparrow Missiles ESSM, is the primary air defense system. It has a range of 10 nautical miles or 19 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. Arleigh Burke class has 96 cell Mark 41 vertical launch system VLS and these can be quad packed. 2. 
RIM-116 rolling airframe missiles is a small, lightweight, infrared homing surface-to-air missile meant for point defense. It has a speed in excess of Mach 2 and a range of 9 kilometers or 5.6 miles. 3. Phalanx close-in weapon system is deployed for last-ditch defense against airborne threats. It uses an automated 20 mm Gatling gun which is capable of firing up to 50 rounds per second. While this is an excellent defensive suite, these weapons could be overwhelmed by a saturation attack since the warship has a finite number of weapons storing capacity. The speed of light enables laser weapons to hit their targets almost instantaneously. Laser weapons also don't need to carry ammunition like traditional systems and hence they will be able to take out a much larger number of threats constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. This is pretty significant as traditional air defense systems can run out of ammunition when encountering a large number of incoming threats. They are silent and invisible which makes them very much suitable when it comes to taking out targets discreetly. They are also so much cheaper and could cost as low as a dollar per shot. The US Navy has requested $9.5 million for Odin in its FY 2022 budget documentation. This is down from $34 million in 2021. The US Navy's budget requests state that the decrease is due to the fact that the majority of the procurement, assembly, checkout, integration, T&E and installation of units 1 through 8 being either complete or in process. Noting that funding in FY22 is primarily for the operation and sustainment ONS of installed Odin units. This clearly indicates that Odin has reached a reasonably mature state. In 2010, the US Air Force mounted and fired off a megawatt class chemical laser from a modified Boeing 747. Things have changed since then and instead of unstable chemical lasers used for that experiment, solid state lasers are now being utilized. Another test with LAWS or ANSEQ-3 laser weapon system was conducted in 2014. The efforts are bearing fruit now. Laser weapons are no longer just part of sci-fi movies. They are poised to play an important role in naval combat. In the near future, we will surely see a lot of different kinds of laser weapons being fielded, including high-energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance or helios the important part is that the u.s military seems to be at the forefront of this technology and is having a lead